Everybody, Pro Trader Mike, how's everybody doing tonight? Nice to see y'all. Thanks for stopping by. Gonna go do my homework for tonight, so I figure we hang out and uh, check it all out. Fixing up the room from last from yesterday. Got my pooch here. You want to come in, buddy? Hey, what's up, Mr. Wayne Bain? Thank you, man. What's up, buddy? Let's get my homework started. I just came from the mining farm, built Mojo Miner. 28. Raw. Got five or six others of them. Got a lot of miners going on now. So let's check them out and see what, what they're alive. The uh, 5,763 mega hash. What's your mega hash out there, my friends? What's your mega hash, Brown? Mega hash brown chihuahua. Off the mojo room over here. Let's go steal an airplane and fly it around the city. Yeah. When you get burned in AWX at eight dollars and it drops to three because your guru told you to, yeah, you may have a couple of screws loose after that and do something stupid. But uh, as long as you're following a good game plan, there's none of that. 5,763 mega hash. I'm making about half of an Ethereum a day. I paid twice yesterday right there. 0 0.2, 0 0.2. I already got paid once today. About to get paid again. Got another 0.2. So I'm getting paid like a half an Ethereum a day. Let's do the math. That's 15 Ethereum a month. Ethereum at $2,000. Whatever I'm mining is like 30 grand this month. Take that times a couple of years. Ooh, this thing can be like a little gold mine. Just got to keep on with the nice little steady mining. Steady hashing. That's what I do. So I got to check that. Everything's good. My share is about 3,500 a block now. Every hour we get a block in this pool. We got my workers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Uh, Shred, VLOCKS, Auris, Dell. Apollo, and I'm about to set up 28. This little golden apparatus that I had on my desk that is waiting for some beautiful new seven car. Uh, actually, this one's going to be a, uh, I just got the B250 motherboard. Check out this one. See what I just got. I gotta order some things I got right here. So this is what I got today. I got these U-bit risers, which are nice because the um and these couldn't cut bolts. I gotta return that. I thought it was gonna pinch and cut these bolts, but it didn't. And I got these big ass, uh, big heavy duty extension cords are uh, orange and it lights up LED to connect my new rigs into the new and I got this uh, gap foaming stuff arriving on the way to clean up these gaps where the, the air filters are and this aluminum foil tape but I had this a Asus B250 mining board delivered today and I also got these right here 
because you need these to connect another P power supply. This connects two power supplies right there together into one outlet. And then you got um, these filters I had to put on the exhaust. And I got four uh, EVGA uh, PSU 1000 watts ready to go for this motherboard. I'm going to hook up four. Look how it has these. A, B, and C. Three power supplies. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen slots on that baby. So I got the 1080 Ti's on that sucker, and I gotta order two more cables, so VGA cables um, for a 1080 Ti. It's PSU, PSU VGA cable right here. Uh, this is what I got. Get, I gotta get, uh, that's what I gotta get right there. A six pin, two pin graphics card, right? That's what I would need right there. And that connects right there to that. But I need this, I need the, the one that goes into the power supply, like this one. Nope. That's just an adapter. I actually need the actual cable. PSU cable. So PSU cable for a uh, EVGA and an EVGA twelve hundred right here. It's in red and black one. Ninety-eight dollars. What the hell? Like crazy. Eighty-two dollars. There we go. Additional power supply, individually sleeved. But I don't want the uh, white. In red. I don't. I don't need heavy duty, fancy, schmancy. EVGA power supply cables. Here we go, black. $79. What are they freaking crazy? I don't need all those though. I only need that one. Here we go. There it is, the adapter cable, PCIe, 6-pin to 8-pin, black sleeve, that's what I need, boom, boom, oh no, we don't want an adapter, we want that kind of thing, but not the adapter. New graphics cards are coming out. Be pretty exciting. Right here they have a splitter. EVGA. 1200 extra GPU EGA cable. $99? What are they freaking crazy? And I'll have to find that after. 
I need these little freaking. These U bits didn't come with the with that thing right there. Son of a gun. Sixty three O cable, easy to root cable, which you is that PCIe one times six riser adapter. See that? Four pin riser. That's what I need. That just that separate thing right there. It is. That's what I know. I just need that separate though. The freaking risers I bought didn't come with those things. I'm so pissed. This is what I need right here. That's what I need for the PSU. Correct. To the other end. No, those are split adapters. I don't need adapters. You need a four pin power cable. Son of a gun, I can't believe them risers didn't come with the power cable. You need that power cable right there. What, two boxes of them, they didn't come with the power cable. Son of a gun. I, get the, I, don't, I can get the six pin Molex. I don't like that one. Have to buy new ones. Mm -hmm. Four pin riser power cable. I just want the cable only. Let's go to Cable Matters. I think that's a website. This only seven dollars for that one. I don't want the card. I guess they don't sell them separate. I need a SATA riser. Power cable. There it is. Eight seventy. I don't want that Molex stuff. I want that right there, baby. Found it. Ninety nine cents. Fifteen pin say the six pin PCI adapter cable. Right there, Amazon. There it is. But I need five dollars twenty-nine. Oh, they got a doubler. Let me take the symbol. Add to cart. Done. I got the cart. I added that. Uh, now I need the uh, VGA. I need a uh, extra PSU cables for an VGA. Blue. 
Blue looks good. Yeah, blue don't look too bad. They have nothing on here. I found the SATA riser. How about the uh, VGA power cable? Video card sleeve extension. We don't want an extension pin. Here it is. Corsair sleeve type 3 pigtail power cable. Chain. We don't want Corsair. We want EVGA. EVGA, here it is. 8 pin to 8 pin. Ching. Ching. It's on eBay. It's got to be on Amazon. There it is. In black. Well, here's one for $9.95. Got double it. CPU. They don't have them there. I only got them on eBay, but that's what I want right there. I want to get the. Uh, need one. Need eight of them. No, I probably need uh, ten of them. I can add that to my cart. All right, so I got to add that to my cart. So I got that, and I got that, and then I need a fan. And let's go get a fan. I've ordered that before. Here it is. I'm getting this uh, coarse air purple. I don't think they have blue anymore. Blue is always out of stock, yeah. But they got purple. I'm going to add that to my cart. So I got my risers. Need to check out. Let's see, I want to get one of them fans, and then I need those power cables. I need one. I need 12 of them. They're $5 each. Twelve of them. And we're going to get it on Wednesday the 15th. It's fine. I already I only need ten because I already have two. And I'm gonna get one of them Corsairs that can be shipped to me also on Wednesday. And I'm good to go. So that is my homework for tonight with uh, my mining farm. Let's see, I wrote it down on a piece of paper. Let's see, it says here, are you satisfied with this deal? Dear buyer, if you had a pleasant buying experience with the positive review, really great and encouraging, no, because you didn't give me a damn freaking power cord with that. I love the LED. It's this U bit and it's LED. It lights, lights up green in the front. I like that, but yeah.
Anybody have any experience with immersion cooling? Anybody ever throw their miner in a tub of water or liquid out there? Anybody ever do that? I'm looking into that. Heard some bad technicals talked about it though. If you ever need to do anything with the equipment, it's like gets all over it. You can't get that stuff off the equipment. Hey Mojo, how long you been trading? Not sure if you're in a chat room, but we just launched our chat room and meant the program. Can you check us out? And PL's on our website. Okay. Maj Trader. He's got 15,000 followers. Live alerts trading. Just sent me a, uh, ooh, I like it. Trade like no other. Uh, same as me, same as me, same as me, same as me. Copied me, copied me, copied me, and copied me. Wonderful. Looks exactly like mine. You want to see what it looks like? Go to my pit. Go to my site. Go to my site. Son of a gun. Eh, whatever. Can't do nothing to stop that. Last night, though, beautiful Mojo University sign ups. Teaching to, I'm teaching. Check it out. This is the. Uh, Webinar from last night, part of it. I said to myself, no, 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 no. Okay, Roger that. How do you get smarter? Educate yourself. So the things that we run from, we run from the truth. We run from the truth, man. So the only way I became successful was going towards the truth. As painful as brutal as it is, it changed me. It, it allowed me to become, in my own right, you want to do that? Tighten up, people. It's okay. Trust me. It, you have to feel that are going to come out of the woodwork or they want you to succeed. And the bigger you listen, become more than you can be. Don't be afraid of the reflection in the mirror. That's all you can be afraid of. Once you overcome the reflection in the mirror, you've done it. Impact theory. People don't necessarily want you to succeed. And the bigger your dream, the more people that are going to come out of the world to try to stop you. As Oliver Emberton said, the only way to avoid pissing people off is to do nothing important. But if you're striving for something important, if you're trying to make real change, if there's something in your life that you are absolutely hell-bent to make happen, you have got to understand that you're going to be fighting against something. People are going to be pushing back against you, and it is going to be your ability to hold true to that vision that's going to determine whether you can pull it off. And as Victor Hugo said, you have enemies, good. You need you stood up for something at some point in your life. And that's what people miss. They somehow want to get through this unscathed. They somehow hope. But with this grand change that they want to make, the people just fall in love. That they see your vision. That they fall in line behind you. That they want you to lead them. That's not the way that people work. Having a vision already puts you in an incredibly rare group of people. Being able to see something that other people can't see, that is the role of a visionary. It's literally to interpret the world that other people don't even know exists and bring it into fruition and get people excited about it. But understand, when you build an army, you will have an opposing force. But as Mark Twain said, keep away from those who try to deliver your ambitions. Small people always do that. But the really great ones, they make you believe that you too can become great. And that's the kind of person that you want to surround yourself with. You want to surround yourself with people that believe in you. You want to surround yourself with people even when they can't see it. They can see you. Even when they don't understand what you're trying to build, they believe in you and they're willing to get in line and they're willing to meet that opposing force. And when you're able to galvanize people around your idea and push it forward and pay for them to grow, not as it is, but as it could be, that's when you can make change. But you can't be afraid to piss people off. 
you have to know that they're coming for you, and you have to be willing to fight. Because if you're not willing to fight, you might as well sit down now. So if you're going to be one of the few that stands up, you've got to stand up prepared for war. Nice. See that? Love that. That's the uh, impact theory. Tom Blue. Amazing. This is, was my disclaimer from last time. I showed everybody about day trading and myself and how to get started and what the level two was. Everyone got this wrong last night. Check it out. I gave 5,000 bonuses away. Which way is it going? Right here. Check it out. This is what I gave last night. Which way is it going, guys? Higher or lower? See that? 2843, mini Heinz, 50, with a big old highs 50, up a dollar 28, with a big old signal on the ask. 2855. You know where that thing went? 97,000 shares traded at 931. 932. There it goes. 2854, 2855. 9.33, heading into $29, then magic 30 like a magnet. And then I said, which way is this one going? 39.05, 39.06 by 39.11, then it goes 14 by 20. Everyone last night said long. They all said long. Up, up, and away. How many shares you buying? Bill? How many shares you buying with that picture right there, Mr. Bill? How many shares you buying, Kevin? How many? Thousand? Thirty-nine thousand two hundred dollar trade? Quick thousand shares? Up, yeah, look, 3830, 3883, it's 1101, yeah, all in, he bought it right there at 1126, he bought it right there at 11, oh, point two six at 3920, whoo-hoo, everyone got that one wrong. Didn't see the big bid right there. It was sitting right there. Showed everyone how to do the Heinz journaling. This was good. The Edge. The Casino Edge last night. How we are at 95% Edge for Mojo. Every dollar, we win two to three times our bet. As it goes through Heinz, we get 50 cent reward versus a 20% 20 cent loss. Is a 30 cent in between on a 95% edge, because we win 95 out of 100 hands. That's it. A lot of people signed up for this last night. Let me get to the end, I'll show you what the deal was. I don't have to scroll through the slides. Here it is. Right here, from current slide. Really? I'm not that far away. Here it is. The Live Mojo University class. I'm teaching it tomorrow at 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock to 8 o'clock tomorrow. Then Tuesday, 3 to 8. Wednesday, 3 to 8. Thursday, 3 to 8. And then Friday, we'll do it at 1. We'll hang out at 1. Saturday, we'll go at 8. And Sunday, we'll go at 8. 8 o'clock's the time. And 3 o'clock in the afternoon, we'll hang out an hour. 
8 o'clock to 9 o'clock, finish it all in one week. That's the dates. And everything was a new trader package for 1550 was the new trader package. And uh, you get everything paid back in a tuition rebate program at the end after I teach you and you trade on a demo. I laid it all out last night. The review was available. Three payments. Anyone needed a payment plan, got it. One payment of $15.50. Two payments of $8.25. Three payments of $5.83. Uh, with the tuition rebate program, we're at the end of the Mojo University course. You send in your PayPal receipt and your graduation certificate to the firm, and they'll lower your commissions by 25%, offsetting the $1,000 you spent for the uh, for the education, and that's what you're really getting for the thousand is about six thousand dollars in, in, in payback. You'll be able to do everything now, which a lot of people did last night. I've already spoken to a bunch of them, and that was it. That was a good webinar last night. I want to thank everyone for signing up. So, Tiger Man, it's like Bitcoin, dude. Tiger can come back. Took a long hiatus, made a peak up to 19,000, came back, you know, for a long time it was down, now it's back, Tiger Woods, man. There he is, the Tiger, he missed a couple right on the lip, too, it was unbelievable. Check out the exchange and... Coin Telegraph, that's what I just do. Uh, 6337, Ethereum 319. By the way, I have my comfortable, this is my uh, champion shirt. My, uh, my uh, Psycho Bunny Comfies. And tonight I have on the Ethereum socks. That's what I got on tonight. With the Ethereum socks. I love them Ethereum socks. Got them for gotta love them Ethereum socks. So Ethereum's Ethereum's my coin of choice. At three hundred and nineteen dollars. I do foresee it at three thousand dollars. Maybe uh, in my lifetime would be nice. Uh, Bitcoin Cash, very interesting story that there's a mall that takes Bitcoin Cash. What the hell is that mall? It was a mall that takes Bitcoin. So there's going to be a lot of transactions that happen at this mall. It's a mall dedicated just to crypto. So there's a certain amount of traffic that goes to this mall. So if the people go there and they use crypto, there'll be a certain amount of transactions a day that happen at this mall. It's called, um, right here, Mega X Store, retail conglomerate online mall, accepting only Mega Mac. That's not it. I'll show it to you. Turn it on here. Bitcoin be the new gold, yeah, but that wasn't it. Now, if you look at the crypto market right now, it looks like it's crashing. Tech Cash House. It's called Tech Cash House. Tech Cash. Nothing right here is Bitcoin dead. This is the one. Oh no, this is it. A real Bitcoin city in Slovenia. 
so they're only using Bitcoin cash listen so if the transactions are there the miners got to be there man well, Slovenia, one of the smallest countries in the European Union, is certainly not resting on its laurels when it comes to the blockchain and cryptocurrency space. In fact, the tiny nation nestled between Italy and Croatia within a wonderful topography that includes the Julian Alps and lush green forests has come up with the idea of the first quote Bitcoin city just outside of the capital in, and I'm going to slaughter this name, Lushblajana. <laughs> that was bad, but I think you kind of get the idea. The huge former shopping destination stretches over a massive 475,000 square meters and has over 500 retail stores. The complex dubbed Bitcoin City also received a boost of late when the country's outgoing Prime Minister, Miro Sarar, visited the site. He added a certain common touch to the proceedings by buying a cup of coffee using a cryptocurrency payment gateway. Le Jouk Jelani, once again I absolutely slaughtered that name, has always been at the forefront of internet and communication technology and boasts a host of startups as well as other innovative schemes to make it one of the top tech cities in all of Europe. This new complex will undoubtedly make it go places as the adoption of cryptocurrency continues to spread. The Bitcoin city is the concept of a fintech startup called Eligma, which has created an innovative point of sale system to convert the shopping complex into a veritable Bitcoin city. In a statement, Oligma explained that the complex is a business and shopping ecosystem which is based on the latest technological solutions, which include blockchain, artificial intelligence, and cryptocurrencies. Describing the Prime Minister's visit, Oligma said that the purpose was to the Beyond 4.0 International Conference, which is dedicated to the digital society and blockchain. The purpose of the conference was also to get acquainted with Bitcoin's strategy to become a Bitcoin city. Incidentally, the Bitcoin City is an ideal opportunity for the propagation of Bitcoin Cash as a payment gateway, since it basically is the Bitcoin only form of Bitcoin city. that can be accepted as payment in a seamless manner. So this is very good news for Bitcoin Cash itself. In fact, the first successful use of the Alipay wallet was made in April through cryptocurrency, and the app will also be adding Bitcoin Cash as well as its own token as a payment method in the not too distant future. The Bitcoin City has a long history and was founded way back in 1954 as a warehouse and logistics enterprise. In 1990, the complex became a shopping center and over time it added other commercial real estate including a hotel, a sports complex, a casino, a water park, and a cinema. It is by far the largest shopping center in Europe with over 500 outlets, which is really pretty impressive. So this may not seem like a big deal to those of us in the United States, but it honestly could have a big impact on Bitcoin and even Bitcoin Cash. I don't necessarily love Bitcoin Cash, but it does still exist, and we have to recognize it, you know, because it's there and it is being used for payment methods, and it's honestly pretty seamless to do so. So even if a thousand people a day visit the shopping center and use Bitcoin Cash, you know, even if half of those one thousand people use Bitcoin Cash to pay for things, it could result in more liquidity and result in higher Bitcoin Cash prices higher support for Bitcoin and other exchange currencies Love that it. integrate with Bitcoin Cash. And it could just be a really good thing overall. Slovenia, you're always pushing forward, and I really appreciate that. You might be a small little country, but you are not insignificant. I appreciate it too, Slovenia. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Um, they're Enigma coins. Are they Enigma or... Yeah. Do you think Dogecoin will have any serious going for it? Does it always stay less than a penny? I think Dogecoin was made as a joke. Dogecoin made as a joke. My joke cryptocurrency hit two billion and something's very wrong. Dogecoin like a Bitcoin, but it's kind of a joke. See? It was a tweet, then it was a cryptocurrency worth money in the real world. Six months later, he watches the joke made, it's just like, it's a joke. It was created as a joke about a dog picture. Excuse me. Excuse me. Woo.
So this Dodge coin, you know, there's other better coins that are available that have real, you know, stories behind it and uh, are real deal companies. So that's what I think of the Dodge coin. Uh, 51,000 followers. Uh, let's see here. Let's check out. Research. My program. Gotta find this one program on my desktop. Let me sort by. We'll see what's good for tomorrow, even though I think a correction's coming, fortunately. Here we go. Let's do a scan on August 2018. And uh, we have MDLY, big old spike jump, 535 New York Stock Exchange Finance Company, went from making $3 to $0.31 cents to $0.40, cents. that ain't too good in my fashion. Here's Avalon, AWX, crazy, $4 million in the float last quarter, look at the time I had. Last quarter, 21 cent loss and a 16 cent gain for a 433% profit. That's a pretty, that's why it jumped like that. Insider selling right there too. Ooh, they probably knew that. So that's Avalon right there. And CHMA right here. Ooh, this is a good one, increase estimates. From a buck thirty-eight to a dollar sixteen loss, twenty-four point four and fifty-seven. That's a pretty good one. Up a buck eighty, can go into two bucks, got a half a million. I'll write that on the list. I'll make make a little list going. Make a little list on um on YouTube. Thanks, man. Make a little list. Put up that CMA, uh, CHMA at a dollar seventy-five, like this. So I don't have to do it. Somebody do it for me. Go like this: CHMA dollar seventy-five slash five hundred and eighteen K, like that. I like that one. S N O A. This is another good one. 6.5 million. This is SNOA at 230. That's a good one. Traded 339,000. That's another good one. SNOA. Corey. Nice little spike. 36 million in the float. 83% owned by funds with some nice increase in some estimates. $8.65 on Quarry. So that's C O R I. $8.65. It's traded $855,000. PVG. Beautiful. Look at this one. 999%.
last quarter. Here, let me move you guys over here next to me. So you got, look at this one, above 984. Shit's going to rip, dude. Look at that. That's going to rip. I love this one, dude. This is like a magnet to $10. PVG. Definitely, that's going right out to the swing list. PVG, that's an official pick. See, that's how you do it, boys. August 12th. I pick it before anyone. Doing my, re my research, PV, that's a super winner. PVG at 924 for 10 plus. Good one. Check pot therapeutics. Increase estimates, three years. No, I'll pass. ITIS, 18.5. Medical products develops a platform for non invasive blood tests, early detection of cancers, 99 relative strength. Point four last quarter at eight hundred thousand earnings coming out September eighth. Itis looks pretty good to go to Heinz four bucks five percent pivot and three hundred twenty four then we'll pass Biolays Amp Solo JRSH Core medics. Looks pretty good. CRMD, 59 cents for you small guys. I don't really like the small ones. 59 cents. Could go test a dollar. Go blast 80 and come down and see go INSG. Oh, this is a beauty. Breaking out at 276. Microvision. AST. A lot of insider buying. Let me sort by volume. Down. Uh, UVXY, bro. Look, volume sick. Avalon and Seco. <coughs> That's about it. Current price. Let's see what's at ninety cents. Mike, when reading level two, when the markets close and the remaining traders and sellers are high, share dollar amount, does that affect the open? They're communicating between themselves. It's Morse code when they do that. There's misprints. Sun works. Down 77 on the futures. Nice. Palatin 93. Nah. PTNP. Yeah, this one's actually not too bad, guys. Check out this one. Titan. It's got a 999%, 50%, and then 33. So this one will be gone. This will move to the left. This will transpire into the next quarter right here. It's increased estimates for two years with a decent small float and some funds. And it's going very nice. This is another decent one, TTNP. I'll put that in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the thing. TTNP. What's the price? 93 cents to homes a dollar. Guy Solar, 94 cents. 1,000 shares, nothing. Real Walk Robotics. Ooh, that's moving up. Low estimates, though. All right. That was a quick little screen. Top Ships, Mosi, all, 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 all the regular names. But there's 1,600 stocks from there that I just picked a couple good ones. Did my research. Anyone want to throw me a super chat for those picks, you know? 
you press the super chat button right here see super chat and then you can click send the super chat and you can send me a dollar two dollars five dollars ten twenty fifty a hundred two hundred three hundred four hundred five hundred you can send me right there anybody that likes what I do you can sh always shoot me over a super chat all right I got a couple stocks for tomorrow I'll see what how the market opens in the morning what they look like I'll send out a newsletter thanks for hanging out with me tonight Thanks for the guys that signed up for the course. I'll see you for the teaching tomorrow. Make sure my miners are set. I turn this one back on. I'm about to get paid some Ethereum again. It's weird, I thought this one already went out. Broadcasts. On schedule. Something was scheduled to go out, but I just undid it. Alright, everyone have a good night, man. Peace. Thanks for hanging out with me. Got my stocks for tomorrow. I'm just going to check out some Coin Telegraph right now, see what the stories are, and then I'm hitting the couch. Crypto see widespread green, but most of it's low. Bears for crypto, crypto hodler digest, crypto slump. See, yeah, Alex. Despite crypto mining decline, the video will see increased revenue this quarter. You know? Facebook's David Marcus splits Coinbase to avoid appearance of conflict of interest. UK to point for its related scam reported this summer. Nothing really that great. China issues first tax approved. Okay, that's good. Regulations good. IBM blockchain's good. India government allowing crypto tokens. How can you allow tokens when that token turns into a crypto? Blockchain Encyclopedia, Singapore Venture, 10 million. That's not a lot of money. Police tie suspect, 24 million scam. Uber National Candidate, Blockchain and Barclays. All right, there's nothing really that great. See you guys. Have a great night. I'll see you in the morning. Thank mm -hmm. you.